What's up everybody? Excited to be here today doing another video with Lior and today we're going to be talking about doing bulk uploads using AutoDS. Hello everybody, thank you Jack to uh, create another video with me, I'm very happy to be here. So uh, first of all, what is bulk upload? Bulk upload is uh, one upload where you can put a list of product IDs Sometimes uh, it depends on you, but you can also put it with titles and prices. But with one click, you send all the upload together. You don't go one by one, uh, grab details, upload, grab details, upload. You just grab all the details together and upload all the, all the products together. And why this thing is so good? The first thing is that it saves you a lot of time uh, because you don't need to spend a lot of time on uploading the products one by one, you can do it all together. The second thing is that you can work on many strategies that you can work only with the big numbers rule. For example, I can upload many, many, uh, like you did, Jack, uh, expensive <laughs> products and, and uh, sell with a high profit and don't waste my time on uh, profits of 30 cents like people do when they upload the products one by one. The next thing is that Personally, really, a lot of people can maybe say that it's not right or something like this, but I don't know successful dropshippers which work for many years with manually uploads. I only know people who, who I, I am speaking about people who do more than $10,000 per month. So I think that you can come to this situation only when you work with bulk uploads. Uh, because also the, the, the most profitable situation for your eBay store is when you have around 8,000 up to 10,000 products in the US mm -hmm. because you save the insurgent fees. So you just buy Uncle Store and you pay much less per listing. So this is why I think that bulk uploads is the best way to work on eBay. And this is what I personally think. And uh, I can show it now on AutoDS, that we want to add something. And I, I just want to make a distinction that, like, for, for many years I thought that you either had to do bulk or you had to optimize. But the reality is you can do everything. So you can do bulk uploads and then have VAs go through and make all the titles good titles. There are many, 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 many things that you can do. Bulk is just an easy way to make a big store really, really quickly if you have the eBay account that allows you to do so. Yeah, exactly. Also, what I usually uh, teach people to do and what I really like to do is when I upload bulk uh, upload, so I wait, I, I'm not spending time on products before they show that they worth it. So if I uploaded thousand products and hundred of them so sells good for me, so I go and optimize this product. So my VA is going to optimize this product specifically, not all the thousand products. This is the way that I believe. Also, let's say that we have a product which sells good for us. For example, I uploaded, I don't know, any niche. I can just go to the supplier site and upload all the niche together. I don't need to go one by one. So let's see this example. It, it comes. Very good. No. So let's say that uh, I sold a bag, for example, and now we see that bags selling very good for me. So what, what I can do, I can just go to uh, our supplier. In this way, we, we just take this page and use the Autodesk helper to grab all the products for the specific page. So let's tell, I click here, extract. I get all the products here. I can go to the next page. And so Lior is using a Chrome extension that you can add that's part of uh, AutoDS. And it allows you to just quickly pull all of the products that are on the page you are currently looking at. Yeah, this extension is free for everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have this or not. So we can just download it. So from here I can export a CSV or I can just take all these ideas and put all of them here together. Now, one important thing when you work with uh, uh, bulk uploads is that you can't just throw all these uh, products together. I mean, you can, but eBay like when you work 
like manually and spend your time uh, on your listings. So what you can do uh, here, in, and this is what we do usually, and click schedule upload, and I'm scheduling this upload to uh, any day, for example, until to the 10th of this month. Now, after I schedule it, I choose every how many minutes I want the product to be uploaded. So let's say, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then every 10 minutes, one product will be sent to upload. So now, sleep, sleep both, time. Sleep time is the time in between each new upload. So if you have a 10 minute sleep time, that means product gets uploaded 10 minutes later, next product, 10 minutes later, next one. If you have 20 minute, that means three products every hour. If you have 60 minute, that would mean one product every hour, etc., etc. Exactly. What I suggest to do is I suggest to upload the products to uh, like 5, 6 p.m. Uh, New York time. And uh, because this is the time where most of the American people buy products on eBay. This is from our statistics in mm -hmm. So your listing will appear as new listing and then they will go, the traffic will go to you. So because eBay promote you for some hours uh, when you upload new listings. So it is, so, it is best to have listings be posted or scheduled in the evening because this is when most people are using eBay. They are home from work. So this is when you will get the most traffic. Yeah, exactly. So this is really important to put the, the listing on this house. It will add you some percent of uh, conversion. So it's really cool. It's small tricks that finally adds you a lot of money after the time. So uh, before you upload the product, what I suggested to do is to check here the first upper letter, a uh, make collage. The make collage will take four uh, pictures and create one picture. All of them, so you will be much more unique. Will make you stand uh, out. Private, yeah, exactly. Uh, private listing. So when the product sold, and someone go to one of your competitors or other dropshippers, go to to your uh, eBay store. You will not see which product sold. You will just see that something sold. So this is one of our main focuses on AutoDS to hide your products from market research tools. For example, one of the things which any dropshipping tool that I know, any dropshipping monitor do, does, is they put your assets or product ID in your custom label in eBay, in the SQL field. In AutoDS, we don't put this uh, field there, this asset on this field, because this way nobody can scan your uh, store. Because it's public. Yeah, because this thing is public. It's not public for uh, in in the site. I mean, on eBay, but programs can easily get the data. So uh, this is one very important thing which will uh, save you from this uh, copy. So from someone just copy all your stuff. The other thing is the unique uh, UPC. We also put your uh, unique UPC to your listings. And now we schedule the upload. Uh, it will take some time to appear under our calendar. You can see here that already sorted two products appear here. It's from now. It's that would be the schedule now. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you how it looks and what you can do, even for those who want to spend time on your list. So after I schedule, I, I just save this process of just go grab details and send, grab details and send. And now I can just uh, go to this product and edit here everything before the product uploaded. So I can see here all the variations uploaded from the bulk upload. It's taking all of them in both bulk and regular uploads. All, all of this here. The cool thing that which we also speak about, spoke about on the previous videos is that you don't pay for each variation. You pay only one time to eBay, one insertion fee, and all these products will be in your list. Uh, the other cool thing here is that when you upload uh, uh, with schedule and you don't want to wait, you can just click here, upload now, and the listing will be sent to eBay immediately. So we can use this bulk uploads for both, for re really bulk, or just to schedule them and, and go and edit. So it would be very easy to have, um, imagine you want to post 1,000 items over the month, so you have a thousand items scheduled every couple hours or whatever, or every afternoon each day. And then 
you have like a VA go through and make the titles better, make sure that things are good, and they can just look one day at a time, right? Because they don't need to do the listings that will be posted in two weeks. They just need to do the listings that will get posted tomorrow. So they make sure that the titles are good and it's very easy to you as the, the, the owner decide what products or you use DS Finder products or whatever and you schedule them. And then it's very simple to have a VA come through and do any of the more boring tidbitty things that you do not want to spend the time to do. It's very simple when, when done this way. Exactly. The other very uh, unique and important thing is that when you upload bulk uploads, you still need to edit your item specifics. So what we did in AutoDS to save you a lot of time, we just grabbing all the item specifics from your source. So for example, all these things came from our source uh, supplier, for, from our page on the supplier. If I go here and I will open this page in AliExpress, for example, so I can see that the seller in AliExpress spent a lot of time to add all the things here. And we just took it and copied it to our eBay listing. So this is another thing which you don't need to do. It will just save you a lot of time instead of go one by one and edit these things. Now, uh, there are there any questions, anything to say, Jack, for a moment? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, everything has been clear so far. Cool. So the next thing is that a lot of people are afraid from bulk uploads because then they don't have uh, control over the prices because people are very regular to upload each product after market research and then we put a specific price. But we can forget that the price is always changing in our supplier sites. So it doesn't really matter which price we put. In the beginning. What we do with, yeah, in the beginning. What we do when, when we uh, upload bulk with AutoDS, we use our feature of price uh, adaptation according to the competition. So if our product will sell good, we just increase the price after it sells at least two times. If the product stops selling, so we will decrease the price. So if the product doesn't sell for uh, example, four days, the price will be decreased. So this way, all this process become very, very, very automatic. So we don't need to care about prices. We don't need to care about item specifics. We don't need to care about timing or when we upload the product because all of this becomes automatic. The only thing which we still didn't uh, uh, automatically is the title optimization, but we will come to this also. There are some problems because Maybe we will upload the title with, for example, we put down a quantity five, but you sell only three. So it can break your account, and that's why we don't play with the titles. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have good prices, good item specifics, good product because we upload niches which works good for us on our stores. The only thing which we missed is, uh, we missed two things. The first of them is item uh, removing. We need to delete bad selling items from eBay because we don't want to pay eBay too much fees for nothing. So what we can do here, we have the profitability monitor. This feature will remove automatically products which stop selling goods for you on eBay. So this is also a very, very, very important feature. You don't need to care anymore about deleting bad products. That's very and useful. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. And that, that is something that most most beginning drop shippers, they just post post items and then they have many, many, many old, old, old items. And they don't understand that there must be life cycle for your items. You must post item. And then if it produces sale, then that's great. You can keep it up. But if it does not produce sale and 30 days pass, 60 days, 90 days, at this point, you are paying for nothing, you know? So it's very important to have a system to delete these items and to have this system be automatic is super useful, like super useful. <laughs> yeah, because it's also do it on the last day, so we don't miss even one day. Of yeah. The product. Give it the last chance always. <laughs> uh, the last things is 
the dynamic break even. When we work on Amazon with Amazon US, we, sometimes we have taxes uh, for products. And usually it's when the product is sold by Amazon. So what we do on AutoDS, if the product is sold by Amazon, we will just put a bit higher break even for this product. And on this way, we always will, will be profitable. So all you need to do is just check PPP and put here the right break even for this. And also about the policies, a lot of people work with uh, products with different shipping uh, prices, so we can just uh, check this thing and it will adapt the right shipping policy for your product according to your shipping, uh, to your shipping uh, time. So I hope you like this, all these things. Uh, the last thing which we talked on previous video is that this finder, so you can just check this video of Jack. It will help you find the uh, profitable products. And I hope you like this video, Jack. Tell me if we need anything else, if I need something. Yeah, and if, if you guys watching this, if you have more questions about AutoDS or you want Lior and I to make more videos about a specific subject, just comment and let us know. And if you're interested in trying AutoDS out, there's a link in the description that you can check out. Thank you, Jack. Thank uh, you, Lior. I wish a good luck to everybody and work with a big number of all. This is the winning strategy. Bye-bye. Ciao.